then you can see what to do. Agnes Demutai has been working at Kenya Power for four years now. She is part of the special lifeline team that resolves electrical issues with minimal interference to normal power supply. There is a loose connection and the customer is encountering no supply, but not all the faces in only one face. In live work, there is nothing like switching off the supply. We are just going to rectify it live. The first thing we are supposed to do is to do pole top inspection to see if there is any other loose jumper apart from the one we know at the moment. Agnes represents the growing number of women who are boldly venturing into this male-dominated sector. If you are a lady and you, you work among men, you have an advantage because you, you become a challenge to some of them. According to the Institution of Engineers of Kenya, female professional engineers constitute only 7% of the total number of professional engineers. Women in engineering are now encouraging other women to join the park. Grace Karuiru, a colleague of Agnes, has been working at Kenya Power for the last 10 years. It's never been a challenge that I'm a chick and it's a male-dominated field. And if anything, it's better when you excel in a male-dominated field because, yeah, you're the one among very few. She does admit that it hasn't been easy for women in this sector. One major challenge is the prejudice that women are not able to handle what the profession requires. Even when I was joining operations and maintenance, there were not many ladies. I think there were about three. And at the time that I was joining, I was maybe the fourth one in the whole country. And you get there was, there was that mental block that they were having in terms of giving us work. But with time, you get to prove your worth, you get to prove your salt. You do the job as good as them or even better. And you work to your strength, not to your weakness. There are some things I can't carry. There are big equipment that I can't carry. But with coordination and planning, I can be able to coordinate the other aspects that the other colleagues could not handle. Grace and Agnes, who have defied all odds to excel in this male-dominated field, are among the women who are expected to share their experiences at the 26th International Engineers Conference at Leisure Lodge Resort in Diani from 3rd to 6th of September this year. The 26th Engineering Conference is talking about challenges of the 21st century. Challenges of the 21st century includes both men and women. There will be a special session on women and engineering on the first day of the conference. I've always told women whom I mentor that if they are not on the table, meaning they have to come to the conference, if they are not on the table, then it means they will be the men. Women constitute 50% of the population. And there's no way we can discuss about challenges of the 21st century without including women. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, it is the dream of engineers like Imelda and Grace that more opportunities in the engineering sector are created for women in the country. My name is Michael Zimanji from Chams Media reporting for KTN.